My granddad is a pedophile. A few Christmases ago he let me have his old tablet because he said he never used it and I wanted something for my studies. I took it home. Went on YouTube. Immediately my recommendations is filled with basically underage softcore porn. It's YouTube so nothing terrible but like little girls twerking and doing dance routines and ballerina and stretches and shit. I barely peeked at his history for maybe five seconds and saw so much of it. I immediately logged out of the account and have never looked again. There was nothing NSFW. He is not in possession of child porn. He doesn't work around children or anything like that. He is very harmless and hardly leaves his home now. I have never told anyone and never planned to. For starters. No one would believe me and everyone would turn against me. Wage war on me. Well they already have. I'm moving away soon and ghosting everyone. I loved him so much all my life. So it kinda broke my heart. I still visit sometimes and treat him the same but it is hard not to think about it. There is nothing more painful than discovering that a person you love and respect is not who you thought they were. This is why I hate when my mom posts my niece and her dance routines and dance outfits on her public FB. She also sent it to her BF in jail which grossed me the hell out knowing the assholes in state prison laying eyes on that pic. I still cringe thinking of that pic inside the jail and probably always will. I'm sorry op. I don't have any advice. This is so fucked up. Sympathies brother. YTF are there people defending this? This might be considered child porn depending on where you live. I vaguely remember a criminal prosecution against a guy when I lived in Utah who had photos of prepubescent girls in swimsuits, gymnastics outfits, etc., where it focused on their crotch and butt. I don't remember the outcome, but he was prosecuted as if it was child porn because it emoted a sexual vibe. A lot of old guys think this shit is normal, so fucked up. He's not in possession of CP, what makes you so sure? My husband and I recently found out his uncle was arrested for molesting his granddaughter. Everyone is sick over it. She is only five. He confessed at first to the cops but then pled not guilty. It's so messed up. It kinda is child porn. Sorry but an old guy has no business looking at little children behave sexually provocative. They are victims of social media and he is consuming their exploitation. It's weird ASF how people are in this comment section defending this. The bigger question is. Not if he truly is one. But if he has hurt anyone. That is what I wondered first. He probably would have CP if he knew how to get it. Not the easiest thing to get your hands on if you can't use the internet well. Hold up. The first thought is to throw an accusation that's serious out there. Do you not have other children that might have used the tablet in your family? I'm not defending Gramps here but if you are gonna toss around that serious of an accusation you need solid evidence because it can and will ruin lives. And what you have is circumstantial at best. This could be an early sign of dementia. Have an honest talk to your nan regarding his behavioral changes. I have noticed this on the computers of several older men I know. What is it with their insane love for ballet and gymnastics more than anything that involve little girls? It's so common. Because they're certainly not watching hundreds of them for the mastery of the sport. Otherwise there'd be more videos of adults doing gymnastics. Just to add. Child porn is now more commonly being referred to as child sexual abuse material. 
Just an additional note going forward. To me it feels more appropriate than applying the word porn to it. I don't know why you're saying it's harmless. A pedophile is a pedophile and if given the opportunity could you 100 say he wouldn't do it? If not then I wouldn't defend nor make excuses. This is disgusting. Somehow I don't quite believe you op. I mean you are fighting a lot with your family. In the other post you admit you are a college dropout with no stable job. And call toxic everyone that doesn't resonate with your vibe. Yeah. You need urgent mental help IMO before you travel around the world. Our society is so ignorant nowadays. People should not be allowed to post little kids doing anything close to provocative let alone dancing and dressing like an adult. As adults we should know better but the times have changed and everyone has gone cuckoo. Anyone can be whatever they feel like being and kids can do whatever they want and if we don't support it we are wrong smh. This happened to my husband a similar way. He looked up to his grandpa so much and had him on a pedestal. He has wonderful memories with his grandpa. A few years ago Mill and I were having a heart to heart. She revealed that her father, the aforementioned grandpa, our dollar ped and sa her in her teen years. She told her mom but mom didn't believe her. Nothing was ever done and she eventually married Phil when both were 17. I debated telling my husband but he heard it from someone else before I made a decision. It broke his heart to know his grandpa wasn't the good, amazing man he looked up to. This is not a new phenomenon I mean if you go back to when your grandfather was a kid Shirley. Temple was sexualized to a ridiculous degree and had even more ridiculous justifications. But it's not softcore porn although it's tasteless and creepy to say the least. Is it possible since he doesn't use it, he let someone else borrow it? Actually, I question why he would give you the tablet. Knowing his search history would be there and not even resetting it. I am wondering if he gave it to you on purpose. You have no idea what he has done in his non-reclusive years though smdh. I don't know. I like watching videos of kids dancing because it's funny and it cheers me up. In the same way I watch bulldog puppies. Not because I get turned on. I don't know your grandfather but is it possible you're overreacting? That's mod. You're protecting him but all right. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I found out my grandfather was a pedophile after he died. I wish I would have known who he was before he died. Because there's so much injustice over what he did. The only kind of solace I have after finding out is that he died an awfully painful death. So. He beat system. I doesn't actually possess CP. But he's still able to watch that smut. What an asshole. I loved him so much all my life. So it kinda broke my heart. Did he ever did anything out of order when you were a kid? No. Because he loved you. Did he have any strokes? Stroke can literally turn someone into a dirty old man. Look it up. Check his house. He may have CP. Sorry about that it must suck to have someone turn out to be a bad person. Why jump to pedophile without knowing the facts? My goodness. Tiki Tok is full of young kids vids all day. All night bin all kids of absurd stuff. YouTube was Tiki Tok before Tiki Tok was Tiki Tok. Maybe Grandad just liked watching kids dance cause he grew up watching Shirley Temple dance and Darla Woods dance and it made him feel good. Simple as that. As long as he's not acting on it, who gives a fuck? Removed by Reddit. He might have more than one laptop with disgusting content. I'm